so I'm Manshu Agarwal, the CEO and founder of Ponder. And uh, my background is that I'm an engineer originally. I was, um, went to university in Cambridge and then worked as a consultant, a management consultant for many years before doing a MBA at Columbia and became a Wall Street banker. Did that for a few years and decided I like technology better. And so moved out to the west coast of America, to California, to work in startups. I'm doing that now for um, a number of years, nearly a decade. And uh, this is my, my second uh, gig as a CEO founder. We started off with the reason I created it was because a friend of mine, Caroline, she'd always try to match me up with friends of hers. And these were always great dates. She'd say, meet this person, meet that person. But they were limited in number. So I thought, how can I create a platform that could scale that up so that matchmakers like Caroline could get matchmake more and then singles like me could have more quality dates. And we started to uh, develop that platform and we, it's now out in the marketplace and we've got 70,000 users for this dating platform. But we've also realized along the way that it can actually be used in many other contexts, anywhere where people are being match made. So for example, for job referrals, we can do the same thing for that. Similar business referrals. You could even extend it into roommates, teacher-student matchmaking, anywhere where people really benefit from a friend's input and judgment. So nothing like this exists. Everything is a very um, company specific platform. What we're doing is saying let's gamify it. So let's take job referrals first of all, right? So most companies want to have referred candidates. Those candidates often are better employees, they stay longer at the company, they work better, they're more in tune with the company culture, and also they decide to take the job quicker than non-referred candidates. So there's a number of advantages. Plus, they're also cheaper because you're not paying a recruiter or a headhunter a fee. So for all those reasons, companies want to try to activate their employee base to refer other candidates. But it's often thought of as work for those people. So very few referrals actually happen. Only 20% of jobs are actually referred. Um, so what we want to do is make it more interesting and more rewarding for the matchmaker, for that referrer. Make it into a fun game where companies that you know of, either your employee or you're a past employee or a vendor to that company, and are then linked uh, through our platform to, um, to people that you know in your social network. And you get rewarded every time you suggest someone that, um, uh, that is liked. Um, and then if they get a job, you get even more reward. And make it referrer-centric. We want people to wake up in the morning and refer people. That's just not done at the moment. And similarly with dating, you know, you ask, um, what, what are, there's a lot of companies out there that do dating, but they're all algorithms where uh, a bunch of random people are suggested to you. Everybody knows that when a friend of yours refers someone to you, those are uh, much, they're much more likely to result in, in great, great dates and potentially relationships because the, the friend, especially if they know you well, knows and knows the other person well, is more likely to um, lead to a match, right? And so uh, no other companies out there do that. So our match rate, for example, is six times higher than typical dating apps. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've got proof in our data. So um, what this is, is a 
for singles, it's a curated stream of prospects that have been suggested by friends, family, and a community of motivated matchmakers. So singles waste less time in swiping, mindless swiping, which happens on, on most other dating apps, unfortunately, right now. And the other uh, proof point here is that the system, the current system, doesn't work very well. Less than one in four online daters actually find a relationship. And they spend seven times more time online than going on dates. If there was any other product that had those kind of success metrics, you'd give it back. You'd say, sorry, this is not working. We're social animals. So it's natural for us to trust other people around us in our social network for their judgment, for their recommendations. In all aspects of life, what we're doing as a platform is just to try to make that more fun. So people do that on a more regular basis. Sure, so the way it currently works, the app, is that you see someone and underneath are a set of prospects. You scroll through those prospects, you see their profiles, and if you think anybody could be a good couple, you just drag and drop the pictures. The two people then will be notified. If they both like each other, you win $10. If they eventually get married, you win $1,000. Each of the two singles, when they are successfully matched, they each pay $10. So we get $20 from the two singles, we give out $10 to the successful matchmaker, we are left with $10 ourselves. Sure, absolutely. So we are expanding internationally. We're currently in the US and our 70,000 users are there. But we think Korea is a great market for us. So we've hired a Korean associate, Daniel Kim, who's uh, going to be based both in LA and in Seoul. And uh, as our chairman here in, um, in Korea, we've uh, brought on Mr. Choi Jin Young, uh, who's, um, who's a, a politician and a, a, former, a former mayor of a city and uh, is very well regarded in the crypto space. As, uh, so he's leading the, the team together with Mr. Nam Sik Lee, uh, who's a former professor at KAIST and a dean at a number of universities in Korea. And both of them together are uh, pushing us forward um, in Korea. Similarly, we've got somebody in uh, similarly of high stature in India, uh, Mr. Rajiv Vyas. Uh, he was the head of India's largest cable company. And similarly in China, we've actually got a joint venture with Plug and Play, which is one of the world's leading incubators. They were the first investors in Dropbox and also uh, incubated PayPal. So they are leading our charge, helping us lead the charge in China. We believe that Asia in particular is, a, is going to be our strongest growth market. Uh, the concept of matchmaking is very culturally ingrained here. Uh, people like especially in India, for example, everybody is a matchmaker at heart. So we're providing them a tool which, for something that they do already, we're just making it more fun and rewarding. Absolutely, we think this is, can be used globally. It's just a question of where we think the greatest opportunities are. So right now we think Asia, given the speed of growth in the markets here, and um, the availability, this market space for us to, to enter, it makes a lot of sense. We'll definitely go into Europe as well, um, and, uh, and other countries are around the world, but for now we think uh, let's focus upon Asia and with uh, the handful of countries that I mentioned, first of all. While we're in a bit of a bear market right now, I think Overall, the long-term prospects of the crypto market are very strong. The blockchain clearly is the biggest thing to happen in technology since the internet, without a shadow of a doubt. In fact, in some ways, this can actually be more disruptive than the internet because it creates a new set of incentives for people. Monetization 
can be done in a very different way and therefore new business models can be created. So I think with those fundamentals, uh, the blockchain and every th companies that are related to the blockchain are solid. In terms of the, the markets themselves, the crypto markets, I think those long term will also uh, gradually increase in value. Who knows which ones will be the, the leading um, cryptocurrencies versus the ones that will fall away. That's really, it's impossible for us to say. But I think overall, there's only one way that this is happening. Um, regulation, sure, can stifle it temporarily, but there's always going to be a growth in, um, in the markets. And in fact, uh, regulation can actually help it, help the markets by making clarity as to what's possible and what's not. I think a lot of people are just uncertain at the moment, like where is regulation going to happen? So I think uh, over the next few years, we'll see the regulation becoming more established. People will be clear as to uh, which path they can go down and we'll see growth of the, the overall ecosystem. No, it's not completed yet. Um, we're, we've got another month or so left for that. And, um, and we're releasing uh, our Ponder Gold token. So the token has this fundamental utility within the app where matchmakers earn tokens and the people who are being matched, whether it's job candidates or whether it's singles, they pay tokens. So you have this value economy based around tokens. Sure. So the token economy is, is, a, fundament, is a fundamental utility for our token in that um, if, you're, uh, if you all want to enter into uh, the community, you have to pay tokens. And every time you're matched, you have to pay tokens as well. And the people who are matching will earn tokens as well from from doing the matching. Right now, a total a total sum for the ICO of tokens is 480 million. Out of that, 25 percent is going to be used for the sale, and we've got a hard cap of 24 million. So each token, 120 20 million tokens. Each of those tokens is going to cost 20 cents, which leads to the 24 million hard cap. 40% of the coins are going to be used for consumption within the app by our consumers. And then the remaining 30% is going to be held in cold storage by the company. So those 40% of tokens that are going to be used for, um, for uh, consumption within the app, they're going to be consumed over a period of 18 months. It's going to take 18 months for all those tokens to be used. Every month we'll release a certain number of tokens for purchase and for rewarding the most successful matchmakers. So this is going to create some excitement around the token. And uh, after the tokens have all been consumed, we will buy tokens from the markets to then sell to our customers inside of the app. It's so it's recycled, yes, exactly. So for myself, you know, I just really want to create something that I truly am passionate about. I'm truly passionate about connections. You know, I think that there's a real opportunity to make uh, a better system for connections. I think there's um, there's uh, there's people love games and people love money. You're combining the two to make something that people also want. They want more referrals in every aspect of life. <coughs> so I'd like to see Ponder becoming a referral platform, a broad-based referral platform. We call it the Ponder family, where you can, if you're a member of that family, you can be matched in all sorts of ways. It can help your romance, life, your job life, business life, any aspect, any place where you're being connected to others, we believe Ponder can have a role for you. And so creating that Ponder family, which you feel intimately part of, which improves your life in many different ways, that's our ultimate goal.
So you can download the dating product right now. It's on both the app stores. And uh, you can play matchmaker. So you can do that in across the world. Um, our, our jobs product is going to be out in uh, later this year in the fall. So uh, watch this space. We've got a number of different announcements that we're going to be making with some very exciting partnerships um, on the road um, to completion. And our business product will be out next year, business referrals product. Ana <laughs> Haseo. Um, um, so, for all our Korean um, friends out there, uh, we'd love you to join. Uh, first of all, download the app, go to the App Store and type in Ponder app. You'll find uh, the, the app for download. Start matchmaking, start earning some money. And um, also, um, join our uh, Kakao Talk. Um, group so you can find that uh, it's a ponder app again look for that and um, partake in the discussion around what we're doing uh, you can also go to our website tokensale.ponderapp.co we have a Korean version of that and um, we have a Korean as I mentioned we've got Korean colleagues in our team already uh, some of whom are based here some of whom are based in LA you're welcome to reach out to them and, um, and ask us any question that may be on your mind.